Workers Member of Parliament Dr. Abdullahi Riakatonda has been recognized and honored with Pest Setter Award Industrial Development by the Jubilant Stewards of Africa. Dr. Biakatonda was among the 30 leading firms and individuals from the East African region that were honored for the Pest Setter Award at Serena Hotel in Kampala. The ranking take a holistic view of the corporate responsibility that consider pillars of innovation, quality products and services, job creation, corporate governance and community transformation. Then COVID came and disorganized us. But uh, nevertheless, just as you are, we are also pest setters. We had to have the first one in Uganda this year. But this is the fifth overall. Four have already been held in Nairobi. But this is the fifth and the first in Uganda. Also, this is the first that has combined a multitude of persetters from different nationalities. And we are very grateful to host to here in Uganda. The award winners included Corp Services Uganda, Mananchi Credit, Ena Coach, Uganda Professional Chefs Union, Dr. Abdullahi Yakatonda Workers MP Uganda, Amara Reality, Interconsultant Limited, and Digital Driving School, among others. Dr. Yakatonda said being recognized for the Pest Setters Award as most responsible individual and business enterprise is a proof of creating innovative, sustainable products and services that are designed to make community lives better. I want to thank the Jubilant Swords of Africa for this initiative. I think generally this is going to bring company into competition, company into doing things better, and as Africa, I think it's very important because one, we must exploit our population so that all these services are delivered to the destination. And of course now, what we want is that when we companies improve in their service delivery, it means they will actually enhance production. So that at least we grow our export portfolio and then uh, reduce on the number of imports. And then of course that will increase employability. This is very important to us as Africans and East Africa in particular. Legislator and entrepreneur congratulated Jubilant Stewards of Africa for their foresight in giving public recognition to key categories of businesses, enterprises, and individuals at one event. Dr. Vakatonda emphasized that the current socio-economic and environmental challenges facing the investment sector the East African region require new approaches to leadership and responsibility by the entrepreneurs. Employers, I think what is important is now to look at collective bargaining agreement and look at uh, international labor minimum standards, such that at least people work. When people are motivated, they can actually work better. So in the East African region, I think let's cherish employees. Let's have a cordial relationship between the employers and employees. That will actually have a, build a sense of ownership and increase the productivity and industrial harmony with across the board. The Jubilant Stewards of Africa Executive Director Jerry Doundo said the award program is aimed at improving the living standards, social ethics, dignity, and empowerment of communities. So uh, I'm sure a lot has been said. We all know about the PESES Awards. We all know why we are here. My name is Pius Ngoga. I work with Brighter Monday Uganda. We're part of a much larger group called the African Talent Company. And just from that word, you can tell that we're in the space of human capital. And what we do is make sure every day we wake up, we work with employers that have opportunities, job opportunities, and are looking for talent. Then we also work on the other hand with so many job seekers to make sure that we match job seekers to the right job opportunities in the market. I'm very glad to be here today and to at least say something. Uh, one thing I would like to say is uh, Gigi is an online platform where buyers and sellers 
meet to transact. So we link the buyers and the sellers. So we look forward always to changing something in the community whereby even to a tomato seller, we give them space so that we change their lives. At the Uganda Chefs Union combines all the chefs. We have assisted some of the chefs in Uganda, especially those who have made it in life, but not through schools and rather through on-job trainings. We enable them, liaise with the Directorate of Industrial Training to ensure that they get the document and they are able to proceed with their profession and they are therefore considered to be professional by the fact that they, they pass those examinations. The Uganda Chefs Union, we have our vision and our vision is to be the leader in the profession in personal development for the culinary community while promoting current culinary and techniques and preserving the history and skills of our, of our culture. We've also got our, our mission, and our mission states as a non-profit organization. It's a non-political profession organization dedicated in maintaining and improving the culinary standards in Uganda through education, training, and professional development of its membership as an authority and opinion an opinion leader on food, Uganda Professional Chefs Union presents a national voice of all issues related to the culinary profession. Uh, I'm Juliet, Juliet Komboka from Enacoach, head of customer service. Enacoach is basically a transport company within Kenya. We traverse all counties with a fleet of uh, 80 vehicles, that is the small ones, and uh, over 40 buses. We deal with transport, we move from uh, Nairobi to Busia to Sirare to Kisi. Majorly we are in all of Western and Nyanza, basically. And we also traverse to Mombasa from Nairobi and from uh, the upcountry regions like Nyadorera, Obabe, Omigori. So you can uh, book via website, you can book via our... We have an app, it's Enacoach. You can also book up via website, enacoach.co.ke. You can also make a call to our number 0709-832-000 when uh, you want to call, when you have an issue. We also do parcels. We traverse across country, that is Kenya. We can also get to Busia. From Busia, you can get it to Uganda from other major players in the, in the industry. Uh, my name is Richard Mogire. I'm the CEO to Enacoach. And uh, as you've heard, Enacoach operates in Kenya from the central uh, part of it, uh, that is the city, the capital city. We moved to almost all the borders uh, surrounding our nation. And uh, we are coming to this industry to do something different, solving solutions and changing the profession. Because as I said earlier, many people think that this is an industry which can be run by the failures. But we are coming to change it and make it a professional uh, industry, just like airlines and uh, we are ready to make it uh, go to higher ends and we are ready to partner as East Africa when we move uh, maybe passengers to the borders maybe the other company can seamlessly take these passengers yeah. to the other side of the country so we are happy to be in Uganda and we are happy that as uh, East Africa region we are partnering and we are going to make this work. So the best to East Africa, and at the end of the day, we are going to make Africa smart. Yes, I'm seeing Enacoach uh, being one of the greatest uh, transport industries, uh, in, not only in East Africa, but Africa. And uh, we are going to compete with the rest of the uh, uh, maybe continents to make, because, because Africans, we are uh, maybe perceived to be the jokers, but uh, we are, happy that you are teaming up as a region and at the end of the day as a continent to make Africa great. So Enacoach is one of the uh, leaders in that industry and we are going to make it a success. As I said, professionalism. 
because many people think they just hop in, hop out. Just like airlines, we have given platforms for people to schedule because we are not, we are only doing long distance, and long distance it means that people are scheduling their trips, people are scheduling their travels. So we are giving giving them platforms to plan their journeys because someone can book for even June 2023 or December so that they are able to plan their trips, their journeys, and we are giving them comfort, uh, more than even the airlines, because we are giving them like raining seats, charging sockets, Wi-Fi on board, so that people are comfortable, they can be even still be working as they move from one city to the other. Yes. As, as I've been introduced, I'm Angela Ndambuki, I'm the Regional Director, uh, Sub-Saharan Africa, or IFPI, which is the International Federation of the Phonographic Industry. So basically, we are the voice of the recording industry globally, and what you're hearing there is what we represent. So we hope you, you, it won't be too much of, a, of an interference this evening. So what I'd like to, to talk about uh, this evening is the digitization of music, consumption, and how it has revolutionized the industry and facilitated greater revenue streams as well as newer audience for the rights holders across the world. At the same time, the online distribution of recorded music means that there are new forms of piracy and illegal consumption of recorded music that collectively undermine the rights holders' efforts to maximize revenue. It's therefore important to establish mechanisms to enhance management of rights online. Besides the existing content protection and enforcement, the IFPI has over the years administered the International Standard Recording Code, ISRC, a tool that helps to uniquely identify recordings across the globe. And in 2021, as Sub-Saharan Africa IFPI Regional Director, I was privileged to establish the Sub-Saharan Africa region's first ISRC agency outside of South Africa to cater the needs for the record producers and self-released artists. And the ISRC is a standard ident identifying code used to identify sound recordings and music video recordings so that each such recording can be referred to uniquely. It's used by a wide range of industry stakeholders, either as owners of recordings or licensed music distributors, and further in organizations representing owners or different collectively managed rights, which is done by the collective societies, uh, media libraries, archives, teachers, application softwares, and so on. The region is now considered as the new frontier of recorded music growth characterized by rise of its new genres onto the global market, especially the Afrobeats, which is now a uh, global, global hit. The other day I was being told that Barna Boy was in the US and it was packed, packed, packed. You know, so having the decision to launch this ISRC administration in the region is an acknowledgement of the reality that African music is growing beyond its borders hence need for greater management of data. The Jubilant Stewards of East Africa Peset Award is East Africa's annual industry leadership recognition program that promotes the pillars of environment and corporate governance.